New toys from Lexus, Mercedes auctions the final SLR, and a new Audi makes a ruckus on the Nurburgring. What's up everybody, I'm Derek D, and you're checking out Fast Lane Daily on a Friday. Fast Lane Daily with Derek D, always fresh every day. This episode of Fast Lane Daily is brought to you by Valvoline's automotive series, Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog. Watch for new episodes at brandonandthefrog.com. We begin today with more news from the big automaker liquidation sale of 2009. Big, big, big! Word from Automotive News is Chrysler owner Cerberus Capital Management is in talks to sell all or part of Chrysler's operations to Renault and General Motors. That, the report says, is one of a number of deals the private equity firm is considering that could split up the third largest U.S. automaker. The transaction could see GM snapping up some of Chrysler's assets rather than buy the company outright. Automotive News also says Renault has expressed interest in Chrysler, including a possible alliance or an outright purchase of the Jeep brand. Such a deal would see Jeep and Renault back under the same roof for the first time since an alliance between former Jeep owner American Motors and Renault. It was AMC that sold the Jeep brand to Chrysler in 1987. In other news, a Hummer with wagon wheels. Moving on. Lexus says it's planning to show off its line of aftermarket performance add-ons. Where? Why yes at the SEMA aftermarket show in Las Vegas this month. Thanks for asking. And heading up the Lexus booth will be this show car by 5-Axis. That's the custom car builder also known for the Scion XA Speedster, last year's Project ISF, and the 5-Axis antique fire truck golf cart. Just kidding. This year's show car builds off the GS460 sedan. Other than this teaser sketch, there's no word yet on the specs of the GS460 by 5-Axis. But we hear collapsible floorboards are not an option this year. It's the end of the line for the Mercedes McLaren SLR. And with the Dow below 9,000, it's not a moment too soon. Of course, anyone whose financial apocalypse insurance is up to date can still get one of the carbon fiber supercars. Mercedes says the last convertible SLR in the US is going to the highest bidder. The auctioned SLR will get a one of one paint job of Sienna Pearl metallic paint and tobacco brown leather interior. That means you won't have to worry about having the same car as the now penniless hedge fund manager down the street. Not that it matters anyway. The attacking zombies can only see in black and white. So, that's good. Next up, a new comment of the week in the Audi R8 Spider Nears. It's after this. Make sure you have the right oil, the right tools. Now, I like to use a high mileage oil on this baby here because uh, my girl, this 1970 Camaro Z28, has been around the block a few times. And I don't mean that with any disrespect. Changing your oil is easy. All you need are the right tools and sound advice from serious minded experts. Barring that, there's Brandon and the Frog. So if you haven't changed your oil in the past 3,000 miles or think a dipstick is some guy in a sleeveless flannel, Check out Under the Hood with Brandon and the Frog at brandonandthefrog.com. The car you save may just be your own. And now you know what time it is. It's Commenter of the Week time. Woo! Yay! Yeah, woo! Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, comment our show. Yeah, Commenter of the Week. Comments. comments. This week's comment comes from Dude486. He says, I much as I, I, I much as I, is that what he said? Yeah. I much as I love FLD, I can't understand your hostility towards the printed car magazines. I wasn't going to say anything until I saw the piece about the diesel caddy. You pulled that right out of Motor Trend. What the hell? Well, dude, 486, we respect Motor Trend. They are a very, very reputable magazine. But they're old school, man. We're the new hotness. We're, we're like Jessica Alba, and they're like Mary Tyler Moore. Was hot, but not that hot now. I mean, would you do her? I wouldn't. But Jessica Alba, totally. So I'm gonna do Fast Lane Daily, not really gonna do Motor Trend. But they do have a blog, and that's where we took it from. So, still on the internet, my friend. That's how we do it, all right? Keep them comments flowing. We rock them, we use them. Funny and informative, and you know, get creative. Just in time for winter, Audi's apparently in the midst of shakedown testing for its new SPF Zero version of the R8. It's the R8 Spider, spotted on Germany's Nürburgring this past week, in what looks to be 90% complete. Insiders had expected a Paris debut for the drop top R8. That show came and went and no sign of the spider. Earlier this year, Edmunds Inside Line reported that R8 test prototypes had been spotted with a full convertible roof. That disputed earlier predictions the spider would get a target top with a removable roof panel. 
and that means the ragtop R8's gotten some substantial changes from the eight pillars back. Expect to see the Spider for the first time at the Geneva Motor Show next March. And of course, the V10-powered R8 hardtop is still expected to arrive by the end of this year. Nice. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for Friday. I'm Derek D, everybody, and you have a solid weekend. And remember, if you think your life sucks, there's a lot more people that are worse off. All right? Little Giants words of wisdom. Weekend, uh, Giants play San Fran, so they should win. I hope. They will. No, Goodbye. Hey, what's up? I'm Derek D, host of Fast Lane Daily, and I'll be here, that's Matt Farrow, and I'll be here at GPNY racing on October 26th in the Garage 419 Invitational. If you want to come see me, you know, the rest of the FLD gang, or Matt Farrow, head to garage419.com and check out the details. Or if you want to just see some pros, so check it out.